Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to another episode of Tina Tries It. In today's episode, I'll be trying out some Korean male makeup. Now, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you guys can stay updated with future videos that I post. Also, follow me on Instagram at Tina underscore Yong. During my trip to Seoul, I visited Olive Young, which is like a drugstore similar to Priceline if you guys are in Australia. And I saw that they had a full on dedicated section to male grooming, including male makeup. So I thought it'd be pretty cool to try out some male makeup from Korea. I got a cushion foundation. This is from XTM Style Home. This is an all in one cushion foundation. It has an SPF of 50. And I'm not too sure what color I got because there was only like one on the shelf. Then I bought this whitening tone up cream from a brand called M Doc. Apparently it's a tone up and magic cream, which is good for whitening and anti wrinkle. Then I bought an eyebrow pencil again from the XTM Style Home. Finally, this stick, this is M Solic Professional Grooming Care and it's a guy's hair cushion in deep brown. Now, seeing that it's male makeup, I thought it would only make sense to have a male try the product with me. I've convinced my boyfriend Alfred to let me try the Korean makeup on him and as a deal, I said I'd try it on myself as well. So please welcome my amazing boyfriend Alfred. Here is the man himself. Hello. <laughs> I feel like Alfred has not been in a video for... It's been ages. It's been a very, very long time. Mm. And do you remember the hashtag Save Alfred? Yes, that was a real movement. Thank that you. That was a real movement, guys, because I used to try a couple of products here and there on Alfred and... Um, I was like a wax specialist. Yeah, I feel like we should bring that back. If you guys haven't checked out any of our old videos, please do. I'll leave the link below. As you guys can tell, Alfred is super excited for today's video, aren't you, Boo? Mm -hmm. I'm so thrilled. He is so I'm, thrilled. I'm so happy to be here doing a male makeup video. Please give us a like just because of Alfred's efforts and how excited he is to do this video with me today. I thought I would start up with the the tone up cream first. So this has two times whitening and anti wrinkle. So you apply this on before the foundation or the cushion foundation. Sounds like something I need because you can compare myself and Tina how dark I am. He was just complaining about how dark he looks next to me, but I'm like, it's we're in this literally the same lighting. It's just because he's naturally more tan than I am. Like that's how it is. So hopefully this will give him a boost. Um, and I feel like I'm gonna do it on myself and you can kind of do it with me or watch if you if you need But this is meant to be really easy for guys. So I'm pretty sure it's like foolproof So let's start off with this. I feel like you've got a bigger face. I'm gonna give you like an extra pump <laughs> <laughs> Extra pump for the big head What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna pop it on my skin this how I... It smells quite nice actually. <laughs> what are you doing? This is how I put moisturizer. Okay, I dab okay. it all over, and then I okay. apply. You do you do you boo. Okay, it smells quite florally. It doesn't smell like I don't know. I guess it smells like, like a man. It doesn't smell like there's like men deodorants. I think there's just too much, cause <laughs> I'm a ghost right now. <laughs> Why am I doing this video? <gasps> you look like that skeleton from Coco. And now you say I look like the guy in Coco. No, you look like the cartoon character. You know, they're like, they're, it's really cute, okay? The Grim Reaper guy. Hey, you know what? I can tell the difference. Can it's you tell really the difference? White. I feel yeah. like my face is definitely brightened up. I feel like... <laughs> I mean, it's, it's it hasn't really <laughs> you hidden the bags in under my eyes. No, no. There's nothing can hide these bags. You do look kind of ghostly. Yeah. Done. <laughs> Next step, we're gonna go in with the cushion foundation. How about you do it, do it first? Or do you want me to do it no, first? No, you gonna I don't know how to do it. Okay, fine. I'll do it. I'll do it for you then. Or you you want to do it yourself? It just feels like it's a it's a lose lose situation, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> Either way, it's gonna it's gonna be a lose. Okay. So, anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go in with the cushion foundation first. Um, it kind of looks like a regular cushion foundation, though the sponge bit. I feel like the band is a lot thicker. But then I feel like, wouldn't your fingers, would your fingers be able to fit in here? 
We'll see. So you don't mind sharing makeup with me, right? Because I'm gonna go. I'm gonna double dip. I don't know what color this is either. Actually, it's like a little bit darker than the other colors that I normally use in Korean cushions. Number two or number twenty twenty three. Yeah, it doesn't look very cakey. No, it's quite smooth. Right? Mm. And again, it doesn't smell like a dude. Smell it. It smells quite feminine. <laughs> it actually. does, actually. It kind of smells florally. Guys, this is actually really nice. I feel like the colour matches me well as well. It's a little bit darker than number 23, I believe. Or well, maybe it is 23, but I don't know. I feel like... It's not as white as most cushion foundations I use that are cream brand. I'm interested to see what Alpha will look like with this color on because... I mean, if it matches you, it's not going to match me. <laughs> for sure. I'm going to be Jasper the Ghost. It's fine. It's fine. And it's Casper. Not oh, Jasper. Just, sorry. <laughs> you Casper. just renamed one of my favorite movies. <laughs> do you want me to do it for you? Yeah. Okay. Can't tell. What do you mean you can't tell I the can't difference? I can't tell the difference. What do you mean? You can't tell the difference? Wait, let me do the center of the face. When we were in Korea, I saw so many guys that wore makeup, like cushion foundation, even filled in their eyebrows. Mm, yeah, so there's a lot many. of dudes. A lot of dudes are wearing makeup. It's actually pretty common, and I think a lot of men they end up buying like women brands. It's just so white. It's so, it's so, it's the wrong shade. It's a complete but fail. this was the only shade they had available. But, but <laughs> <laughs> disregard that the shade doesn't match you. Yeah, skin actually looks quite good. Maybe if I just burn it down to your neck, it won't be that obvious. And your ears. Just, just <laughs> And your <everywhere>. scalp. <laughs> and my arms. I look like a clown. <laughs> We got, we got to finish the other side. Okay, you can finish the other side. I feel like there's no product on this. You or is there a lot? No, you got to press down on the thing. I'm pressing Okay, it. yeah, yeah. Let's just go. Yeah. It's easy, right? I promise that you'll never put makeup on me. And now look where we are. What do you mean you promised? Like you promised yourself? Oh, no, I promised you. You no, heard it. No, I heard really this. wanted to put makeup on you. You heard this... No, no, vow I, that I. There was no I would vow. Never, I would never let you. But okay, this is this doesn't count because this is male makeup, and this is not like me turning you into a girl. So this doesn't count. Okay, no. though I still really want to do that. I still want to give you like a makeover and turn you into a chick. No. Please comment and vote below, guys. Help me get Alfred on board with this. Alternatively, please hashtag save Alfred. Oh, please. Um, it's a real movement. He doesn't need saving today. How come it looks so white on you? Because I'm dark. <laughs> and you're not. No, but I feel like... And you it looks shade even... matched yourself. I didn't shade match myself. It just happened to match me. Okay, so okay. when you bought this, who did you buy this for? Did you buy it for you or did you buy I it for bought me? It for, well, I bought, I bought it for you because there was only one shade. You, you bought this for me. But there was only one shade, boo. You have to understand, Koreans, they're limited in their shade range. Girls sometimes only have two cushion foundation shades. For a guy, one, I guess it's better than none. I'm so white. Except my eyes are so dark, like these areas. <laughs> it just makes me look like a ghost. How come your eyes are so red? It kind of brings out the redness in your eyes. Mm. Need some tea. Do you want to show them your cute tea? Oh yes. Turn your man around. How cute is this? How cute is this Korean tea? We got it from the Asian grocery store and it's a little tea bag attached to this little cartoon character. It's Korean. Koreans make everything so well except male cushion. Except male, male makeup for dark nails. So the base is a little bit off. I'm going to try my best to kind of make it work, add a little bit of like powder to it, like a darker powder, see if that will help uh, bring the color back down a little bit. I'm just using a MAC powder. This is a medium plus. Yeah. 
Are you contouring me? I'm not contouring you. I'm getting contoured. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not contouring, I'm just applying a little bit of hula on you. Then you're so happy. I'm not. <laughs> I haven't seen you smile so much. <laughs> did you have a look at yourself? I, I punched did. you up a little yeah, bit. I know, yeah. Can you see the difference? I guess I, I look like a corpse instead of a clown. No. <laughs> okay, shall we move on? Yeah, let's move on. What's next? Do you know what's next? Uh, shall we do brows? Okay. So we're going to do brows. Okay. I'll do it on me first. I'm going to quickly fill in my brows with this eyebrow pencil. It has like a triangular shape, really similar to, I guess, um, like the Tony Molly ones. It just really looks like our normal eyebrow pencils we use. So far, it's not a bad eyebrow pencil. Like, it's pretty much like the women's one. That's both brows done. The colour is a little bit darker than what I would normally use on my brows, but it is made for guys, so yeah. Were you watching me feeling my brows so you know how to do it? Yeah, but I, w I wouldn't even know. I'll give it a go though. You want, I want you to do one. How about we shave it, your brow a little bit? Because I feel like... It's like a full makeover or something? No, or no I just, just want to shave a little bit. We've done this before. I'm just going to groom it a little bit just down here. Just a, down, a little bit. Eyebrows are gonna fall into your teeth. Oh, <laughs> oh. You see the difference? K pop. Do you look like a K pop star? Oh, uh, yep. You've got really good brows. Should I do beauty poses? Sh yes, okay, go. <laughs> you don't look as bad now. I feel like. Yeah, it's. it's it was not it's as less white, white now. I yeah. don't know what happened. Did it get absorbed into the skin? Maybe it oxidized a little bit, mm. and also because I did bronze you up and gave you a little bit more color. So, do you want to fill in your brows yourself? Okay. Okay. Here. <laughs> what the hell is going on? You're doing really well. Am I? Mm hmm. Here, maybe I'll take over. How full and big are these eyebrows? <laughs> they just look perfect. They look perfect. Ew. Good job. Good job. What's next? You will like this one. This is the guy's hair cushion. So it's like this springy thing. It's just like a dome cushion like this. And then I think you've got the, the brown hair powder here. So if you have, I guess like any missing spots in your hairline that you want to darken up you can just like pop it through just darken up my hairline or even my part actually it's not very good huh it's not very pigmented at all I've used other hair cushions and I feel like it's a lot more pigmented than this come on I feel like this one is a fail completely it's just not... It's not working. It's making not, no difference. It's not very pigmented. What is wrong with this? Look, it's darkening it up a little bit, but you can't fake a whole new hairline with this, <laughs> right? It's just not... It's not dark enough. Yeah, let's not even try and use that on my hair. Maybe we can just try a little bit on the edges. Is it working? I'm trying to create, like, a lower hairline for you. <laughs> Thanks. I want to see if it works. What the heck is that? <laughs> that looks ridiculous. I that mean, totally did not work, guys. That was a complete fail. Sorry. It looks so work. fake. Should That's a flop. That's a complete flop. Probably not a very good product, guys. Uh, that one will do not nope. really work at all. Yes. Do you like your new yeah. look, Brew? Not hating it, but it's just... It's not me. So yeah. it feels a bit weird because I'm not normally this pale. And I think the light is a bit misleading as well because it's sort of making it look flawless. But Well, you do actually look more flawless because makeup, it did kind of even out your skin tone. It definitely brightened and lightened mm. your skin mm. up. And I know 
You don't know who I make up, so obviously this no. is like a but weird But if you look. saw me in real life, you can tell that it's makeup. So yeah. that's what I don't really like about it because, yeah. you know, I'm not really into wearing makeup. For me, I feel like the male makeup was really no different to women's makeup, like the eyebrow pencil, the cushion foundation. They pretty much just repackaged this and made it more, I guess, masculine and all black and plain. A little bit more like toned down and less girly but in terms of the formula the scent there's nothing too different about it though I do really like this cushion foundation it does match me perfectly so I think I will continue using this on Alfred skin it looked too light definitely too light and um, the tone up cream I feel like it is a really nice moisturizer and it does have a brightening effect oh it definitely brightened it definitely yeah. brightens but then you have the problem is like around your eyes if you have dark eyes you're gonna have to put the moisturizer over your eyes and it's just like if you put makeup yeah. over that's gonna slip and slide I thought the eyebrow pencil was pretty like true to my color yeah the eyebrow pencil I feel like the color is really good for those of you who have who have like naturally darker brows um, it's not quite black it's more of like a dark gray but it does like shade in your brows quite well it's not like it's more of a waxy formula so it doesn't come out as pigmented so if you're worried I feel like this is pretty good if you're I guess if you're a guy and you're looking for a brow pencil and you're kind of new to filling in your eyebrows this hair cushion thing complete failure this thing sucked you cannot draw a new hairline with that. Yeah, no, okay. no. Okay. You can fool no one with that. So for me, my favorite product out of the whole thing is the Cushion Foundation. Simply because of the color, it matched me really well, and the formula. What was your favorite? If you even have a favorite. Like Nothing. What you said. Nothing. Yeah, I agree with you. You just agree? Yeah. Yeah, that's all lies. He probably did not like any of that, but thank you for trying it. Thank you for being my <laughs> lovely model. You are the best. Okay, that's me. That's my appearance for the next six months. No, I feel like Alfred definitely has to come back and feature more in my videos. I feel like it's always really fun and it doesn't feel like work. And it's just, I know, just I love like torture. <laughs> it's like torture. I just really like having these memories of us on the internet for thousands of people to watch. Yeah, you do realize that uh, I cannot get a proper job after this, so you what better you, you better be taking care of me. What do you mean? I'll, I'll I'm always unemployable. Take care of you, please, people will want to hire you even more. You are great on camera. Okay. All right, whatever you say. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this episode of Tina and Alfred tries it, aka Tina tortures Alfred. Please. Aka hashtag save Alfred. <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also follow us on Instagram. What's your handle? At Alfred.tran. You know I don't else. even know. And my one is Tina underscore Young. So check us out on there and we'll speak to you guys next time. Bye. Your skin looks really flawless actually. It's flawless. It actually looks really flawless. Don't you think? Like on camera, look look at the monitor. Look. You are so smooth. We're gonna do our beauty poses. You gotta teach me how to do it. Okay, okay, beauty poses. You generally, well, I like to look down first mm -hmm. and then like look up and look at the camera mm -hmm. so they can kind of see the eye makeup close and open. Okay, I have no eye makeup in this case. Well, we just did the, just, just do it. Okay, ready? Okay, go. Down. Three, two, one. And up. And then you kind of just some hand movements, like put your hands in to kind of make it look. Why does yours look so like twisted and like tangled? Like you know, like you just want to just soft hand movements. Soft hands. Oh, like soft this. Soft hands. Soft hands. Like that. Yes.